Hi everyone, in today's video I will create nice cascading forms using Symfony 5 and Easy Admin 3. Uh, by cascading forms I mean that I will embed one form into another, which will allow me to create and edit both sides of a one-to-many relationship on one page. Now let me demonstrate. Let's create a question. How soon is now? And let's add some answers here. I'm sorry, now, well, then, tomorrow, and tomorrow will be the correct answer. Create, let's have a look. Okay, works fine. Let's jump into the code. First, let me show you my database structure. It's pretty simple because I'm not going to take you through the process of creating entities and running migrations. If you don't know how to do it, you can look it up on the internet. So here I got question table, which is very simple, ID name, and the answer table is quite simple as well, ID, question ID, name, and is correct columns. So here are my new Symfony 5 installations where I have my entities created and uh, Easy Admin 3 already installed. I want to create a controller for the question entity. To do that, I'll type make admin crud. I will pass the question entity and I will use default values for directory and namespace. So here in the question module, as you can probably see, the add answer part is completely missing. So I want to add it in the code. Um, I don't need this. So I will need my text field for my name and a collection field collection field for answers and answers. Okay, the answers widget is here, but as you can see, it's not the right widget that we need because the is correct field is missing and besides it probably doesn't work. Let's see. Yep, it expected the argument to be of type app entity answer, but it's been given a string instead. To fix that, we'll need to tweak our collection field a bit, and for that we'll need to create a form. So let's type make form, and we're creating a form for the answer entity. So the form will be called answer type. And here we'll pass answer. And here in the code we need to create a new form type option. Set form type option. The option name is entry type. And we pass a newly created form as a parameter here. Answer type class. Let's see what happens now. As you can see, we've got two new fields here. The field that we need is correct, and the field that we actually don't need, the question field. So, to remove the field, we need to mm, remove it from the configuration here. And let's see what happens now. Yep, the form looks good. And let's see if it works. Where is my mind? Nowhere. It's correct. Whoops, it doesn't work. And why it doesn't work is because we need to configure the question entity to cascade persist operations for this entity. And to do that we need to type cascade and I think it should be like this. Persist. Alright, let's check. Mm, looks like it worked. And yeah, it worked. Let's add one more. Oh, no, no, no. Let's say hello and save changes. All right, we've got two answers and that's what we needed. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.